Today we're going to learn how to create a high quality plastic bag mock-up in three simple steps. Step one, we're gonna bring in our design and we're gonna adapt it into the packaging. Step two, we're gonna bring in the shadows and step three, we're gonna bring in the highlights. Without any further ado, let's begin. First, we start with the image of our packaging. I will be leaving the link in the description for you to use it. And let's start. Step one, we're gonna bring in our design. First, we're going to lay our design on the front face of the packaging. As you can see, the front face of the packaging is rectangular and so should be our design. Remember, we're going to be molding our design into the packaging. And in order to do that, both of them should have the same shape, in this case, rectangular. So here is our design. And before we do anything, make sure that we convert it into a smart object. To do that, right click on the layer and select convert to a smart object. You may be asking yourself, why do we need to convert this to a smart object? And the reason is very simple. We're going to be editing and distorting this layer to fit into the packaging. And we don't want to destroy our design. We want to preserve it as it is. That's why we need to convert it into a smart object. Now we're ready to start transforming the design. Let's start by bringing down the opacity of the layer. To do that, we're going to click here on opacity and bring it down. Let's say to 35%. Yeah, that's okay. That way we're gonna be able to see what's behind and how to accommodate our design properly. Press command T to bring up the free transform tool. And by holding shift, drag down the image until it fits the height of our packaging. I think that's quite right there. And now, as you can see, if we move this image to a side, you can see that the front face of the packaging is not completely frontal, it's tilted to the side. That's why we need to distort our image. To do that, we're gonna right click on it and select distort. Now, what we're going to do is then we're going to make sure that all four corners of our image matches all four corners of the packaging. So, we move it into the corners. To adjust the curvature, we are going to change to warp mode. To change to warp mode, select the icon that is on top and let's start adding the curvature. You can move these handles here to make the curvature match that one of the packaging. We're just adding curvature, don't worry about these edges right here because we're going to be fixing them with the liquify filter. So once you're done, press enter. As you can see, there are some edges here that are left and we're gonna be fixing them with the liquify tool. So to do that, we're gonna press filter liquify. Before we do anything, just make sure that your show backdrop option is selected. That way we'll be able to see the packaging behind. Use the packaging and mode, make sure it's behind. Even you can increase or decrease the opacity of the uh, design as you wish. Now with the warp tool selected, you can press control option and click and drag to change the size of the tool. And now let's start molding it.
Once you're satisfied, press OK. And you can bring up the opacity to see the changes that you made. If there is something that you miss or that you want to fix, you can always come back by click, double clicking on liquify. And you can even reconstruct and revert all the changes that you made if you wish to start all over again. In this case, we're not gonna make it because uh, I think as we have it, it's okay. So if everything is fine, let's move to step number two. Step two, bringing in the shadows. As we can see here, our design looks quite unrealistic. And the reason for that is that we haven't added any shadows. To add shadows, we need to change the blending mode of the image. So to change the blending mode, we need to have here our layer selected and click here on the blending modes and select the multiply blending mode. Immediately, we can see that our design gets darkened. But what's happening is that Photoshop removed all the white from our image leaving only the dark parts. The problem here is that this is too dark and we need to remove some of the shadows to make it more visible. To remove part of the shadows, we are going to double click here right in the right side of the layer and we are going to adjust a little bit here the control to the left. Okay. The problem here is that of course, yes, we are reducing the shadow but as you can see here on this on the left the transformation is too drastic too harsh so what we're gonna do to make it a little bit smoother is that by holding the alt option key we're gonna split this control and you can see that the transition is a little bit smoother and by that the effect is much much better and more realistic so i think once we're satisfied we can click ok and now we have the shadows in and we're ready to move into the step number three step three bringing in the highlights now although our design looks much more realistic now with the shadows you can still see it's very dark and we can hardly see our design so to fix that we need to bring in the highlights to do that we're going to duplicate our layer by pressing command J now once the layer is duplicated we're going to change the blending mode to screen which is the opposite of multiply and now we're going to do the opposite of what we did on the previous step. Instead of bringing down the shadows, we're going to bring down the highlights. So double click on the layer and we're gonna restore the highlights like they were before. And then we're gonna bring it down this side. We need to remember, we're gonna press Alt Option to split it and to have a much much smoother transition and there we have it now we can replicate the same process for the right side of the packaging don't forget to subscribe and to leave a comment if you have a suggestion for a future tutorial and see you in the next video